Hi, everybody. This is Christy Bryant and Amanda Rollings. We are at CRS Granite, Granite so. here today, here in Austin. And we, it is amazing. You're going to be stunned by what we're going to show you today. And Amanda had this fabulous idea to show you the products here. So just a reminder that Amanda, um, she does everything. She's a general contractor. She does interior design. And she did my house personally. She's worked with my clients. She's amazing and fabulous. And so we're here today to talk about trends. Yes. Yes. And in particular, countertop material. Uh, and I want to focus on two. The two most important. Quartz, which is a man-made material. And quartzite, which is a, a natural stone. So let's give an overview of where we are. Okay. We are in this the warehouse. And just so you know, um, most people don't have an opportunity to see all these Beautiful slabs here, uh, the, the full slab that you can purchase, or I can purchase, or your installer can purchase. And uh, so we wanted to take you through and just let you see. So let's go down this aisle first. Okay. I, I have two primary materials to show you. Uh, quartz, let's start with quartz. It's on this side primarily. Just a couple of things to know about quartz. First of all, it's probably the most popular material. Um, there are different levels of material, which determines the cost. This one in particular is made here in the States. It's actually made in, in uh, Atlanta. So you don't have to pay all those you know, extra charges to bring it into the country. It is made of uh, quartz, which is really, it's, it's limestone under uh, sandstone under pressure that forms quartz material. And resin. The beauty of this, and the pros and cons, I was telling Christy earlier, there really isn't a con, but the beauty of this is that it's pretty resistant to stain, scratching. Um, you, they say you can put, I haven't done it yet, but I mean, you can put up to about 400 degree um, pot on it and it won't crack. I think you have to be careful though, because if it, if it is cool and you do put a hot pan on there, naturally it's probably not. So, but it's beautiful material, and it comes in a lot of different colors. Uh, well, Amanda, when you look at a slab, what are you looking for? Are you looking for consistency? Well, there's a lot of things. I mean, you can see the variation over here. It's really a, a shocking, stark contrast between the black and white. It really just depends on the client and what they are doing for in their kitchen. Uh, this one is more very pretty. These, this sort of a, of a quartz material can be beautiful in a bathroom. Something else I want to point out to you, if you look this way, you see on the, on the quartz slab, you can see that it's kind of shiny. And then over here, we have a matte finish. And um, one of our mutual friends put this in the kitchen. It is gorgeous. It's a uh, it's brushed finish. And it's becoming more and more popular. We're using it more and more. There's only about four different colors, though, that have the option of both the polished and the matte. Yes, yes. Uh, on this side, I'm going to point out this, this is quartzite. A quartzite is more expensive relative to quartz, but it is a natural stone. One of the differences would be that with quartz, you don't have to seal it. But with quartzite, you do need to seal it about once a year. So this happens to be a leather finish, which is uh, kind of a muted finish. It's really beautiful. And then it also comes in a polished finish as well. And I was saying to Amanda, you can't tell, but um, I don't know how much these weigh, but it's yeah. stunning. Yeah. Like, I, um, th this is really big block. So, Amanda, I'm curious. Um, my clients have worked with different builders who have unfortunately um, put in cut pieces like a large island and then the stone is cut but when you and I work together it's always been one piece and when I come here and see these I see that it could be one piece yeah. so yeah. can you kind of describe what happens when somebody ends up with a two piece of cut down the center sure, sure. um I prefer to buy a whole slab at, at the wholesale and then I work with a fabricator who, who cuts it all in his warehouse and he installs it and often I will go to his warehouse, and I will help him lay it out. Point being, to your point, is that we don't want to have things where we don't have to. Um, a lot of 
sometimes I'm not I don't know who, but I mean I, I have seen it where it is more cost effective to cut a kitchen up in smaller pieces so you don't have to buy as much material. But the disadvantage there is that you do have that same. Yeah. Whereas, well, and sometimes I mean it's inevitable, right? Yeah. But sometimes it seems like it could be avoided. Right. Well a slab like this, these come in standard because they are manufactured and they are man made. Um, you can see down the row, they're all the same size. It's about 120 inches by 68. They do have some jumbo slabs, which is right behind it, where you can get a little bit larger, 130 by, I think, 75. So if you have a 12-foot run in your kitchen, naturally it's going to have to seam it. Yep. So we're going to have some. <laughs> oh, hi. So you look, they're going to use that big machine to move that. Okay. So... The average person who can come in here just make this. This uh, is only for contractors, right? Yeah, you really need to have even a design for a contractor or a fabricator to come in and help you purchase this. Uh, and then, like I said, it, it's relinquished to the fabricator. They take on all the risk and then they install it. So, um, I think there's a couple of points to point out for durability. Mm -hmm. There's a most scale. This one is more, uh, it's stronger than granite, which is what we're all used to uh, hearing about. Oh, quartz is stronger quartz than granite. It's stronger, uh, stronger than granite, and then quartz night is even more strong mm -hmm. than quartz. Okay, and it rolls up. So. There's a, so many varieties of color and styles, and so much to choose from. It seems like Every week we're getting more variability. The wood side, they are made in, in the earth. These are natural stones, so it's all determined by where they come from in the, in the world. So here we have this black one comes from Brazil. Some of the people, Turkey. So a lot to look at, a lot to learn, and a lot to see. I love it. I do too. So do you see the trends? Stay, so we had had granite for so long, right. and then it shifted to quartz and quartzite. Do you see that it's the trend is staying with that? Yeah, no. I, no. I think it's, it is more quartz and quartzite. Mm -hmm. Granite, right. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, I think it's more quartz because of the durability. Are they waiting on us? Okay. <laughs> so should we walk down the... <laughs> Um, oh, that's lovely. Oh my gosh. But really, all the variation is from the cooling of the, of the earth when it forms. So you get all the little oranges. There are some solid pieces or more solid pieces. There is a the white, the gray, the black. So I feel like this would be very risky putting it in. Like I might like it right now, but what if I change my mind though? Well, that is, you know, picture it behind a bathtub in the bathroom. Just a wall of it. And it's it's gorgeous. gorgeous. It's like a painting. Oh, no, no, it's it's kind of muted actually. It looks more white than that. Neutral piece. Asking about you know what we look for some slabs. I see this as long as gold. If I were using brass fixtures in the kitchen, I would probably tend to want to use something like this because it really complements it and breaks that. So it's still it is. Maybe we could actually get the get them picking up a slab. Which I think I must think. Right. 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 Right.
in the slab light behind it. There's a company in California that just makes slab lights. Wow. Um, it's gorgeous. In a light place, it's a small bathroom. Maybe I guess I'm going to have to see this bar. I use this in the Can you go look at that chart that you showed me? Sure. So just a, a shout out, thank you so much to CRS, Marble and Granite for having us out. And you do need to be able to, if you come here as somebody like Amanda, you just can't walk in. Stain resistance, I mean, some of the ones we've talked about, here's the port side. Stain resistance, excellent, scratch, excellent, and you can see all the way across. Durability, excellent. Uh, where's the other one? Ports, right down here. Same thing, excellent. Heat resistance, low, excellent, 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 all the way across. Nice. So, thank, thank you, Amanda. Is there anything else that we should discuss that we didn't? This has been fascinating. so much in there. And hire Amanda to do the work with you. We'll just take a peek over on the side as well. And this is, we only went down two aisles in here, and there are um, a many. So, Amanda, thank you. The camera's over here. Thank you, Kristen. Thanks for coming out. Thank you, everybody, for um, tuning in. If you have questions or what you would like to hear from us next time, please ask if you have questions about what we discussed today. Let me know, and I'll ask, I'll shout out to Amanda. Bye, everybody.